all the way from Rania City, it's Rehman Hiwa. Good morning, Rehman. Good morning, Babylon FM. How you doing, bro? Good morning, Noor. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Bro, are you sure your name is not Italian? It's absolutely Kurdish. But I've never heard of Rehman. Okay, so Rehman means... Okay, Re means Rega in Kurdish. Okay. Man means our. So it means our way. So they put two names together. Two, two, two words together and it's a name. Rega man. My our way. Reman. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So it almost sounds like reggae man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. We also got our, your friend right here. He's a little shy, but it's all good. Good morning, uh, Aras. Good morning, Aras. Aras. How you doing, bro? I'm Shout good, out to you, man. You. He came all the way to pick me up and, like, you know, get me here. Oh, man, that's so nice of I him. I appreciate it, man. Well, you better go buy him some coffee or something after. I definitely will. You know where? In the other business of Rania, which is, what? what's it called? The bus coffee yeah, shop? Yeah, with the bus coffee, yeah. It's like, shout out to Shadi and Kadar all the way from Suli. What up, though? Yeah. Uh, so, um... Raman, you are into music and you, you go by the name of uh, Baked Music. Baked Music, yeah. Why? Are you be baking? What's going on? Um, well, there's something in the hip-hop industry. Yeah. Okay, so like, when you produce music, they don't say like, we produce, yeah. we say we cook, yeah, okay? We so cook I was like, why not baking it, you know? Yeah, so like, I was like, baked music. But do you bake in real life? I mean, I do, yeah. I'm, but us? I, I really do, yeah. I can like make some, like, you know, the Kurdish type cakes, you know. Oh, he can? Yeah, yeah. That's impressive. <laughs> yeah. Making music and making cakes at the same time. Booyaka. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, Rama, how old are you? I'm 22 years old. Did you go to college? Yes, I am currently studying in UKH. What are you studying? Economy and finance. Economy and finance? Yeah. I love that subject. I don't, I don't see a lot of people going into that topic. That's a good one. Why'd you choose that? Um, because... <laughs> You like well, that, huh? I, I like it, you know, but like not as much as my music. But like, I was like, maybe one day I like, you know, I connect my music with business and maybe, you know, make a good profit out of it. That makes perfect sense, but yeah. I don't know why enough people don't do yeah, economy major. We need to be more economically smart. And like our economy, like musical economy is like way lower and I want to really oh, of course. push it up. All of our economy is way yeah. lower, you know, in terms of our planning and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, how many years you got until you graduate? Uh, I got two more years, which means four semesters. Are you happy in UKH? I am, I, I'm really happy. I love the people there, I love like the environment. Everything is very is good. How many years have you been in UKH? Um, two years. Okay, so uh, maybe I think since the start, right? You wanna say? Like, Sorry? Like since the start of your major, did you go to any other university? Uh, I used to study in American University. Okay. But like, um, it got really expensive and I couldn't afford it, so I had to, you know, change it. You had to do what you had to do? Yeah. When did you get into music? Um, so like this whole music thing he started because of my dad because he's a music producer and he's a music composer. No way. Yeah, and like he used to teach um, violin in like uh, musical institutes. Violin? In, yeah, violin. And then not uh, violent, <laughs> violent, violent, yeah, <laughs> violin, yeah, okay, uh, yeah. And uh, how did he get into music? When was this? Well, he, I remember he said uh, it was like 1975 when I went to Mosul to study music. Wow, well, he's been playing music. So in since the 70s, he went, your dad went to Mosul and got into music because you know, Mosul at that time it was the center of like culture and music. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you, want, you if you wanted to learn arts, which is music yeah. and anything close to liberal arts, you would go to Mosul in the 70s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. even yeah. actually, one of the founders of Babylon Media started his career there. How about that? Well, you know, like everything started there, I think, in Iraq because like people there are really talented, like, especially when it comes from music, like, they are really. Yeah. Um, good at it, especially like Middle Eastern music, our, yeah, yeah, our yeah. cultural music. Yeah, yeah. Lots of historical like yeah. um, songs have come out from there. My mama used to sing them sometimes to me. <laughs> but Asti. Okay, so um, your dad just got into music in the 70s. And then what happened when he finished uh, Mosul? Did he come back to uh, Kurdistan? He came back what did he do? to Kurdistan and like he started teaching in like um, the musical institutes and stuff here and like he started like you know producing music for the artists like teaching kids for free you know volunteering and wow. stuff you know did he um how did he learn the violin because well, that's hard well he went to that institute in Mosul. oh so he, so learned, he learned there, there. Yeah, yeah that's why does he still he play studied. yeah he's still playing no way yeah, yeah he still does it oh i gotta know. talk to him then let me holla at him <laughs> yeah his name is hiwa mustafa by the way shout out to kak hiwa shout out to my dad <laughs> <laughs> okay so then yeah. you just saw your dad do, doing music and you're like dad i want to do this yeah like oh uh, when i was six he gave me a violin and he was like you, you can play it and like you know if you want to and i started playing it but then back then i didn't know if i want to be a musician I just found it cool to play the same instrument that my dad plays. So like, 
um, I, I, I I started playing it, but like I didn't really improve that much because violin is like really difficult. Man. Um, to you know, so like. I stopped playing it, but then I like we had a piano home back then. You know, I, I started like playing piano myself. You know, I taught myself piano, and then like I started playing melodies out of nowhere. You know, and then I was like, why not being a music producer because I can make it. And then I started producing. So this whole time, what kind of music did you get into? You uh, said something my, about hip hop. Yeah, like my first um, beat was um, hip hop, and like I was really into hip hop, like the hip hop culture and all of this. You know, mm. like we all you know used to back then so like um hip hop is just me you know but yeah. then like I, I couldn't stick to one genre then i i jumped into r&b soul pop you know electronic 80s music um latina music you know yeah this is one of yours i'm seeing right here it's called palm trees yeah palm trees you just like, like to just some make the beats just put the beats out there without no lyrics yeah yeah, yeah. I, I don't like write songs you know yeah and you That's don't try to get musicians you just I mean, I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to do, you know, like I need some good marketing strategies to like, you know, get artists to all my beats and stuff, you know. This is pretty chill. Yeah, that's like um, some West Coast hip hop beat. Like yeah, I'm, I feel like California. I'm playing Vice City right now. <laughs> no, not Vice City, San Andreas. San Andreas, yeah. <clears throat> and that's the lead. Oh, 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 he's coming with it. Oh, he's coming with it. Oh, you guys can't see right now, he's just floating right now. This is chill. All right, so you started learning how to make beats and then producing and composing and stuff like that. Yeah. And then, how long have you been doing this for? Um, it's been like three years I'm doing this officially, you know? Officially. Before that, I used to like play music and stuff, but like, then I was like, I need to learn how to use the studio equipment and like studio softwares in this. And like back then, you know, I had like some friends in Ryan and Frank and Bob Murray and like the, two, the twin brothers. So I was like, you know, Bob, you need to help me with that, you know? So like, um, he helped me a lot. He, he helped me to get, get into my line. And then I started like watching YouTube tutorials and stuff, you know, and then Bob was really helpful. And then like, shout out to him. And then and then from there, eventually you started posting your songs on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Have you done anything like in like events, any public events? Do you do parties and stuff like that? I used to be a DJ when I was in Sully um, because, you know, I needed to make some money. But I, like DJ is not my thing, to be honest. Like yeah. any hip hop producer don't like DJing, but like I um, I wanted to do it because, you know, I needed to make some money out of it. I know, like, I know every, every producer knows how to DJ. DJing is not something you can do, but this is really not my thing, but I used to like do it. I used to host parties with my friends, you know. And now you're just more focused at looking for musicians, people who have nice voices. Yeah. And you want to put songs together. And like I have like two surprises like coming soon, like maybe in spring. So you have been working on things. Yeah, yeah, like I got like two vocalists working on my beat, so like we are on the mission, you know. Do you find it hard to um, find vocalists here? And, and it, it is it is really difficult. Why? You know? Okay, so like there are many like many good artists who are like interested on like in singing and stuff. Okay, but like. They are, they're just doing covers, they're not like moving up, you know, they're not leveling up, they're just doing covers and covers. They're like not writing all, their own songs. Yeah, yeah, like you have to write your own song. If you want to be somewhere, you have to be your yourself and do your music, not others. I mean, all all with all the respect to those who like do covers, it's really nice, you know? Yeah. But like, why not making your own music? You know, like make a good profit and like fans out of it. Exactly, no, I, I agree with you. You need to for eventually, but again, it goes all to that, back to that, how we don't have that professional <coughs> system where people can ha go to the right person and, yeah, yeah. and learn how to write But music. you can come to me, bake music. <laughs> you can holla at bake music. Can you teach people how to write music, how to, pro how to write songs? Uh, I can't like, I can't teach you how to write songs, but I can like teach you how to produce music. Okay, but, but, that's, that's, but that, that's, that's cool also, of course. Here's another one, this is more chill, this is Let's uh, Hope. That's lo-fi, that's lo-fi type beat, you know, lo-fi, hip-hop type beat, like... This uh, looks, okay, so for, for those I can't it's like see... It has some, like, some noises. Yeah, mm. you, you're, the, the image is a guy with his bike and, like, a nice Muratab girl walking with him. Yeah, yeah. And they're walking together in the night and a car is passing on by. Let's and it's just hop. It's just the stars. <laughs> it looks like silly right here, I feel like this is a silly vibe. Yeah, yeah. How do you come with beats together like that? How, what goes in your mind until you make something like this? I so like producing is all about like your own imagination, okay? Okay, I grew up in Rania. Rania is not like a big town. And, like you don't get like many vibes out of it, okay? So you have to have a good imagination for that. Like you have to, if I want to make a West Coast beat, I have to like 
go to all the way like to west coast of california and like imagine that i'm there and like make it you know and you do so, that and i really do that because you have to do it in order to make it you know and I, it's all about the like vibes you get and like the inspiration you get you know sometimes you just feel down and you want to express that feeling with a good sound and you just do it you know so and like sometimes you feel happy you want to express it and you just so the way it starts beat. the way it starts a beat is you close your eyes and you imagine the scenario so like okay i want to think of a scenario where it's night mm -hmm. and you're walking down the street with a pretty girl <laughs> yes like, like you want to say you like her but you're too shy to tell her <laughs> no it's not like that i mean what kind of details go through <laughs> i mean that's a little bit too much for too me, much you know? detail <laughs> yeah you don't want to go in okay there. so yeah, yeah it's night and you're just walking somewhere maybe with somebody maybe not who knows <laughs> maybe there's a car passing by maybe not Maybe that, yeah. And maybe then, it's just the picture I found on you on Google and I and just put it there, just you know. Maybe not. Because YouTube may needs like you know videos, you know. You yeah. can't just put sound MP3s, you yeah. know. Yeah. Okay, so files. so you just thought of a night nice scene and then and then you went to your production table, let's say, and you just put it together. Mm -hmm. How long does it take you to make something like this? How long does it take you? I mean, this? it depends actually. It depends on me. Okay, if I have like the energy to do it, I'm gonna like finish the night. I start like making the beat, but like sometimes. But that's crazy, man. Then you're gonna wake up. And you're gonna go to school the next day with bad morning breath and nuts on him too. And like, I got good music. <laughs> Yeah, but like you'll be tired. Yeah, yeah, but like the thing is, like sometimes I take months or like two months on a beat because you know, I mean, like producing is something and mixing mastering is, is like something else. And like when it comes from mixing mastering, it's like you get really, um, you know, curious about it and you get like really nervous about it because you'd be like, how, like I, I want my mix to sound better and like mixing is like way, you know. Difficult. So do you say you're addicted? Addicted to what music? producing yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i am very much very much like that's what i do for a living okay and that's what you want to do for like a job like you don't want to do anything else in the future that's what i want to do like sure. for the rest of my life that's so, I have so your plan that. is to make money by getting vocalists putting songs together and like throwing them in the world possibly for selling and maybe somebody will catch it and then they'll call, give you that call like well hey, here's a good song. thing like if you see like the um the beat as a hook okay yeah. and like the vocal is as like the food for the hook like for the fishes okay so you just put it on the water and then like you can catch catch big fishes if you are really good you know well i hope you catch a big fish in the future bro i really hope so you know like that's what i'm trying to do you know i've been looking for some good marketing strategy yeah and like stuff so like i get to um get more vocalists you know you know, it's funny, but that's how the music world works now. It's producers like you, they just throw their beats out there. And yeah. Dr an artist like Drake, uh, his people, they go and they look for stuff. And if they like it, they call you like, hey, let's make one. Here's $100,000. Just give me your song and don't talk to me again. Like, like literally, <laughs> yeah, that's how yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah, I don't funny. know if you heard, but like, um, that's how it worked with uh, these these three like brothers, these three friends from the uh, University of Notre Dame in Indiana. Mm -hmm. They That's how they did... Um, a song for 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 Drake. I forgot what song it was, but like that that's that's how it came together. They well, that's how it works. You you put it online. Oh, there's a website called Beatstar. Like it's like a hip hop beat community. Okay, but like unfortunately, I I really don't have access to Beatstar because we don't have access to PayPal and the, like the payment ship is only PayPal. You know, mm -hmm. so that's why you know. But like I'm I'm planning to go there and like sell my beats there also. Yeah, yeah. I I remember it was it was something like this. I yeah, think yeah. It was this this song right here they just put it together they had just the beat they put the beat there drake heard it he liked it and then, and then they bought it dance hall <laughs> that's it it's dance hall and that's how it goes yeah if you guys just joining us this is reman no he's not italian it's two curtis words put together uh, reman exactly yeah, yeah. I, that even that should be your stage name even. man cool also name, means reman. survive like man like i'm alive you know yeah I, I, your name is pretty chill, man. You should thank your parents for a cool name. <laughs> you know how many thanks. weird names... Shout out I've, to my parents. Shout out. You know how many guests I've had here? They've come with like names that they didn't like or those weird... Well, I, I really like my name. I, I'm in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> so Rahman, uh, he goes by the name of Baked Music on stage. He's producing. He's he's trying to catch some fishes here and there. And <clears throat> when we say fishes, we're not talking about girls. We're talking about, of course, selling uh, music. Yeah, of course. No, we're just talking about Record selling music. labels, I mean. Record labels, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cool. Do you, so you grew up in a Kurdistan that since 2003, it has changed a lot. Yeah, yeah. You didn't see the dark days like our parents did. Like we all did, you know. I did. I'm not in the same generation as you, but I'm, 
I, I, I really did. <laughs> you did, but come on, it's, it's, it wasn't that bad. I mean, you literally were, you were like I was five years old. Five or six, but still, you know, my parents did so. When my parents are not happy, I'm not happy too, you know? Of course, I hear that, I hear <laughs> That's that. That's how it's supposed to be. So, but you, you grew up in a better atmosphere where people like you can do more arts. In yeah. the 90s, for example, it was impossible for somebody to say, you know what? I'm gonna try to make music for money, and they're like, "What? This is Curtis Tevera. There's not get the hell out of here. <laughs> go, go back to making the chickens. Yeah. You want to bake something? Go pick something and sell them for your casadina, right? Um, yeah. So, but now it's different. Are you happy the way music is going in, in the Kurdistan region, or do you feel like it's too slow? For me, and musicians are not really benefiting. Okay, like the like the Kurdish music, the our cultural music is going really well. Like there are many artists. You're liking like, it. I mean, I like them, but like, I'm not really into like our... You don't have to get into it. No, but yeah, you, yeah, but like, you, you know, I like how it goes, like people been doing tours and like been doing concerts and stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, but for me, it's not because like, I don't get many chances to get like artists and like, you know, work with people. So I have to, you know, move. Yeah. That's what I'm planning to do, you know? Like, I want to move somewhere where I can like totally sell my beats and like be myself work because if, if I stay here I'm, I, I don't think I can like make a living out of it well you can if you just find the right way man I mean like that's what I'm that's what I'm planning you know I'm trying to find some marketing strategies and stuff you who's know? your favorite who's your favorite um, local musician local musician yeah um, my dad besides your dad um, Sivan Payadar, that like saxophone, you know, he, he's doing really good. You like good. Sivan? Yeah, yeah, he's doing really good. He's an awesome guy, he's very I, I'm really proud of him, like, he's, like he's, he has his own style, you know, like mixing Middle Eastern music and Western music together, you know, doing like some vibes and like he's, he's everywhere, you know, playing everywhere, you know, I like it. No, he's really cool. Uh, maybe you could do like some songs together, remember like well, that? Well, we talked about it actually. Yeah. We, we planning to like, you know, collaborate, maybe. Yeah, there used to be that one song called Mr. Saxo B. Do, 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 do. You remember that one? Yeah. It, was, it was a sax, you know? Yeah. And maybe you guys two can come together and, and do something like that. I mean, hopefully, yeah, maybe in the future. What about internationally, in terms of producers? Who do you like? Um, Scott Storage was my first inspiration, you know? Scott what? S Scott Storage. Okay. Um, the producer who produced Steel DRA, Steel Dre. You know, oh, that guy. Snoop Dogg. lots of people love that guy. Yeah, because they're saying, he's, you know, Drake is, is just the name, the guy behind, behind him was the, was the guy. Scott Storch, yeah, yeah, like Scott Storch is behind all of the hip hop, you know, the good hip hop hits, you know, back then. And I like, uh, I like um, Metro Booming, he's doing really good, he's like producing for many rappers. He's Travis just Scott. amazing now, yeah, man. like you know, Migos 21, yeah, yeah. So, Metro Booming and like Travis Scott, my favorite. Which which song is your favorite for Metro Boom? Um, Overdue by Travis Scott. Metro oh, yeah. Booming, Overdue, Travis Scott. You like that one? Yeah, featuring Travis Scott. He's just been everywhere recently. I don't know if you um, last year one of my favorite ones was um, it's about a wrestler. Do you know? Uh, which one? About a wrestler, an old wrestler. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. I've, I've, with with I've one of the Migos guys. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it, it's right here. I think I got it right here. This one right here. The beat on this is sick. Ooh. Oh, Ric Flair drip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love it. God, the like beat that. On that. Yeah, like that. The, yeah. That um rich um vibes. You know, they get on the music yeah, yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like it. Do you know about Ric Flair? You know who he is? Yeah, he's like he's to go to that um WWE. Yeah, WWE. Yeah. So yeah. he was a big wrestler. And he's rich. Yeah, he, he he's yeah he, really he's really rich. So he yeah. talks about how rich he is. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty chill. Yeah, pretty chill. Pretty chill. Wood. <laughs> so you that's your dream, right? Make a beat like this and collab with Migos and stuff. Yeah. That's like, you know, better, maybe better, who knows? That's amazing, man. I hope you do make it. I hope you do come back here yeah, and, so. and, and say hi to us. Don't forget about us. <laughs> of course, yeah. That's cool. And um, you're going to have a, a little bit more until you graduate. And then what about life in general? How, how else everything else is going? How is the love life? Um, it's going normal. I mean, you know. <laughs> Don't be nervous, bro. I mean, I'm not, you know, but like. We, I thought this interview is about music. No, it's about everything. Music. No, no, it's about everything. It's about, it's about your love life. It's about your house life. It's about everything. I am um, not dating anyone, so I'm good, I guess. He's single, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you better catch a fish before he becomes a big fish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe somebody catches you when you become a fish. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe. That's something else. Uh, you got your friend with you here, Aras. Aras, good morning. Good morning. Are you proud of your friend? Of course. Really? I'm proud of Raymond. 
Yeah. You're, you're into arts too, someone. You, you do movies, you do... You I do music, music editing and stuff. Video editing. You, you, you do video yeah. editing? Yeah. 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 So what's yeah, your yeah. opinion so far about uh, baked music so far? Are you, are you... Do you approve it? Or do you think it's amateur? No, Be honest. No, I, I'm proud of Rayman. And from here, I'm tell, I will tell him, I will try my best to support him. Yeah. yeah, he is really doing like he is really doing it. You know, he is really supporting. Well, me. if you like make a movie, use his music <coughs> for a soundtrack. You exactly. know, something like oh, that. Definitely, I would, I would definitely give him a, like a music. What's your favorite song that you've done so far? Laser feelings. Laser feelings. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Which one is that? Why, why do you like that so much? Because um, that was like uh, a good experience for me because I've never produced that genre before. That was my first time. What genre was it? Was that? It's um, the '80s electronic music. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's like some retro bass and waves, you know, like some synthesizer. And how did you how did you do that? Like, how did you get to that? Well, like you know, I got really into um, laser. Uh, I got really into retro waves and like synth waves. And it, like last year, like I was listening to these songs, you know, from 80s and 90s. So I was like, um, why not, like you know, making one? How did you get into old music? I mean, it's like. Okay, so like, have you played Vice City? Yeah, like of that's that's the vibe from Vice City, like, like some yeah. Miami vibes, you I know, stuff like believe that palm, same thing palm trees and the like the retro Lambos, you know, on the road, you know, some like. You, you know, know, I got into it's so funny, but I I got into '80s music because of Vice City too. Same. But what the funny part is is that I did like, for me it was like 10 years before you do it, and it's funny how until now people are still getting into '80s music because of that game. Yeah, yeah, like it's like. Amazing, you know, I love it. So you know all those songs like Self Control on the night. Yeah, yeah, like I have the playlist on my uh, Apple Music, I think, but I don't know the name of the song. You, but you I can't, listen to it. You can't go wrong with it. Yeah. So this gives you like an 80s vibe, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, I think Aras can use this music to have like a scenario. Yeah. Aras, what do you think? What kind of a theme? What kind of a, s um, a situation is happening? Can you can can you imagine? For me, I can imagine like a murder happening right now. <laughs> Safe. Yeah. <laughs> Like where? Where do you see a murder happening? Like you have committed a crime and yeah. you're just in your Lambo going home, you know, fast. Yeah, yeah. I was, I'm seeing somebody wearing like a Kosovo jacket. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And 80 yeah. sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With long hair. <laughs> One cigarette. One cigarette. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's it. We made a movie. We got the movie. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. This is very chill. Look at this. Yeah. I wait for the guitar. You got a guitar up in here too. Yeah, electronic. Ooh, he's hitting you with that guitar. <laughs> this is Rayman. If you guys just listening to us from Bake Music, he's an up and coming producer. We wish him the best of luck. This is very chill. Thank this you is, so much. You have lots of talent, man. I just this place is just full of people with talent. I just hope people come and take advantage of us. Kainaka, just give us 50% and they can take advantage. Kaka <laughs> mamnunin. Wallahi, we're mamnunin. Just give us the platform, Bram. I see, like, we, we, we don't even have a record label, a good one for, like, hip-hop in this. You know? I, hope, I hope, you know, maybe one day. Just give us a platform, uh, yeah. and then we will take advantage of that platform, and then we will not let you guys down. Anybody listening out there? Yeah. I've, I've always had the, you know, my, my biggest dream was always to do that, to do a record label here. You want to do? Yeah, but I never just found... Do you want to be my thing. partner? Let's be partners. I, I am, I'm planning to make one in the future. Hey, so Dilla, like, why not? Well, that's, that's that. We have, we have <laughs> lots of talent here. We just need to put it together the right way. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's actually true. Baked music, everybody. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much, Babylon. If it was really good, you know. Anything you want to say before we let you go? Hi, um, bye to anybody. For any producers here who are like making music and like who just started, you guys just don't quit, you know. Keep up. Keep it up, you know. Maybe one day we just get there. And it's gonna be the biggest collab ever. All the way from Kurdistan to America and like making good music. Maybe here. Who knows? Ooh. Yeah. yeah. There you have it. It was really good having you guys here and like, you know, thanks for inviting me. I, I, I loved it. I loved the interview. Thank you, bro. Hopefully we'll have your music real soon on Babylon FM. Thank you so much.